I'm sure you'll agree that everyone wishes to own at least one condo in Singapore. But what if I told you that buying a condo is simple, but getting the right one is not easy. In this video, I'm going to show you the 4 step process to buy your first undervalued condo. Must be undervalued lah. Watch till the end for the key criteria to determine if your purchase is truly undervalued. Like and share this video and follow my page so that you don't miss any of my how-to videos. Okay, step number one, calculate your budget. Before you go shopping, you'll see how much you have in your wallet, right? So number one priority is calculating your budget. Visit askkante.com slash loan to calculate your loan and log into the CPF website to find out your CPF ordinary account amount. Your realistic purchase price is loan plus CPF plus your usable cash. Number two, setting your requirements and priorities. You need to know how many rooms do you need, what size do you need, what location do you need. Do you need to stay near your parents? Do you need to move near your children's primary school or secondary school? Many a times, my viewers, they actually overstretch in terms of their size, their required size and their budget. This is where I share key considerations that will affect your future selling prices. Number three, start hunting. The most commonly used platform is Property Guru and 99 Co. But there are thousands and thousands of listings and projects there. What if I can shortlist eligible condos in 10 seconds? Let me show you how. Lastly, taking action. Arrange with yours truly to visit the show flats. It's recommended, uh, it's not more than 3 show flats a day. If not, you'll get very very confusing. You don't, remember, don't even remember what you've seen. There are 64 new launches in 2019 alone. What determines an undervalued buy? Firstly, these are the cost of developers. The land cost, construction, marketing and profit. You should look out for developments that are selling near or at break even prices. For some, it's at the initial stage. Most important, it must be below the 30% of total sales number. In that way, your prices are protected. Secondly, check your per square feet with this table. If your energy price is in the lower spectrum in 2019, am I right to say so that your risk is lower compared to new projects? I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below so I can answer your questions. Like and share. All you need to do is ask. I'll see you 